Hey, Job Tread Pros. This is Sam with Greg Young Construction. Hot off the press of a sweet new Zapier integration that Eric and the entire development team just just helped us put together. So the whole the whole purpose of this one is to send when you send a bid request in Job Tread, it's going to send a text message with a live link to that bid request to the recipient. Um, you can set it up to set, actually work with any type of document. I just have it set up to right now to work with bid requests. And you can see here that the whole thing works by marrying job tread up to open phone, which is a, a voice over IP service. Um, but this will work with actually any sort of, any sort of app that has an SMS capability. Okay. So the first step is. In, so, so you've got job tread at the beginning of this whole, this whole thing. And the event is going to be document recipient updated. That's the one you want to select. We'll click continue. Yep. Choose your job tread account, your organization. And then here you can see that I've already got a record. I, or my job tread, I already created a test record uh, to make sure that all this works. So you can see right here, the name is testing zone. And it has all the relevant information. This is just a mock bid request that I sent. So that's the one we want. Continue with selected record. Now the filters. So there's some important things in here. The first one you can see, I, I mentioned that I have it set up to only work with bid requests. And so I have it set to document name exactly matches. And then I actually typed in here bid request. And so that means that first step is going to initiate and then it's going to filter and it's going to say, all right, we're only going to run this zap for documents that have the exact name bid request and they'll do exactly what we want. In addition to that, we've got a filter set up for data next email delivery status. Now that sounds confusing, but if you click on this and you go down here, you can see that you're just able to type in email delivery status, one of the selectable fields. And again, you want to go exactly matches and this time pending. And that way it'll send bid requests when they move into a pending status, basically when you hit send. So it won't share the document prematurely before you're ready to share it. And then finally, document recipient user phone number exists. That just means if there isn't a phone number at the top of the bid request, then it's, this zap isn't going to initiate. It's not going to send a, a text message to no one. All right. So that's it for the filter step. And now the final step, pretty straightforward. We're gonna hop down to open phone, send a message, continue, choose your account, whatever phone number you want it to come from. And then here you're gonna choose document recipient user phone number. So this is gonna pull the phone number that's saved to the recipient's record. That's where the text message is gonna go. And then you can type whatever message you want down here. I just threw like a little money emoji, try to get people's attention with the promise of great wealth. If you reply to our bid request and uh, you can actually drop in whatever the name of the, of the document is. So in this case it says bid request, but you can do the same thing for, if it's a new proposal that you're sending to a client, uh, a purchase order for a vendor, anything. Uh, and then our company is Greg Young Construction, but you can type your company in there. And then to view it, click here. And now this is sort of the linchpin of the whole thing. This is the thing that Andrew and Eric and team actually just created today so that we could pull this off. This document recipient app URL, which you're gonna type in right here, document recipient app URL, is the living link that is tailored specifically to the recipient. So when they, when they click that link, they're going to get a, so basically they're going to get a custom text message and they're going to be able to open up this link and view it as themselves. It's going to be a little more clear when I show you in just a second. So continue and we'll just scroll down to the bottom and publish it and retest step. Now, just to show you what happens. Uh, so let's say we just went over into job tread, create a new bid request, hit send. The testing zone and through the magic of Zapier, it sends a text message to me that says this money, top, you know, big bag of money. You received a new bid request from Greg Young Construction to view it. Click here. So there's that link we just dropped in there. Open it up. And you can see 
that it has taken us to the vendor's view of job trend. So right here, see, there's old testing zone, very reliable sub, John Doe, the best. Um, and they'd be able to take action on the bid request right here. So thanks for watching. Thanks so much to Eric and Andrew and the team for making this happen. Take care.